hero returns in Avengers Standoff Assault on Pleasant Hill Omega Issue 1. Uh, so this issue was the culmination of the Avengers Standoff event. It was the last issue. The big battle happens in this issue. And it's pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we got ample time with all the characters we have from throughout the series. We got a lot of Zemo uh, since he was in charge of everything. We even got a little bit of Red Skull as well. Um, sort of setting up, I guess, his arc for what will be in the new Captain America book, I think. Uh, he seems to be setting up a new sect of Hydra, so that's going to be very interesting to see that. But yeah, I really like this issue. I thought it was a pretty cool end to an event. I did think, however, we'd get a little bit more repercussions in terms of it relating to Civil War, since we didn't really get anything that hinted that this might be a reason why Civil War happens, as well as uh, the whole Inhuman predicting the future thing. Um, it still can, obviously. Like, they can still use this as sort of a building block in that event uh, but what was really cool is and I'm sure it's going to affect a bunch of different issues after this is that by the end of this book Maria Hill is blamed for the whole event by the World Security Council and I guess she's going to have to stand trial and answer for those crimes and everything of using a cosmic cube and everything so that's going to be really interesting to see what happens there and I could definitely see that particular part affecting the whole Civil War thing about the, the right and wrong of what she did and everything and there'll be people who agree with her and people who don't uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see what spins out of this and we also have Steve back as Captain America and he actually had his new shield at the end of this one so I guess his book if they decide to go into how he gets his costume and new shield it'll be set during this time period so that's going to be really cool to see him get his new shield and new costume and everything I'm really looking forward to the new Captain America book uh, also as I said before a hero returns in this book and it's one people have been kind of looking forward to I guess uh, I know a bunch of people have really looked forward to because they teased it in uh, a teaser image I think last week that a hero was going to return and their hero is Quasar Quasar returns this issue and it's not Wendell Vaughn the original Quasar um, he is in this one but he passes off the quantum bands to Agent Kincaid who was looking for them the whole time that's the weapon she was looking for and she becomes the new Quasar and we sort of get a hint that she might be joining an Avenger team and she's sort of just learning her powers and Wendell is teaching her about her powers and everything. Uh, also Rick Jones gets found by Captain America and I guess uh, becomes type of shield agent type like a consultant maybe uh, for the shield or uh, an Avengers team. Uh, I think that's pretty cool uh, since Rick Jones or the Whisperer as he was known when he leaked all the Pleasant Hill stuff uh, is a pretty smart guy. He's a really smart guy now that he's got these different powers other than being A-bomb. Uh, so that's going to be really cool to see him interact with more of the S.H.I.E.L.D. especially since you know he kind of outed them as being terrible people with this whole Pleasant Hill thing so that's going to be really cool and Zemo escaped as well with Dr. Selvig so he's going to be up to something as well I imagine he's going to try and restart the Masters of Evil or something so I'm really looking forward to seeing what he's up to since he's he was so intent on taking over the world and he failed but he's trying again uh, which is really cool uh, all in all a pretty cool book I really enjoyed it and that's the end of the event and I think so the uh, a few issues later with Captain America and I think New Avengers and all that, I think they're actually doing like mop up of it and there's a bunch of issues that are going to be epilogues so keep an eye out for them and I will see like what the fallout was for this massive battle that took place. I'm going to give this book a 9 out of 10.